when economists talk about inflation, it's an ongoing process. It's not just a one-off. And so if you just have um, the cost of imported goods go up by 25%, sure, that's going to raise the, uh, the price level, but that's not an ongoing inflation issue. And so it's very important to keep those, uh, those things distinct. Just explain that for a second. Sure. So uh, this happens with, you know, for example, uh, let's get back to, to energy. Why does the Fed often talk about uh, core prices? Um, so you take out food and energy. Well, you might think that's kind of crazy. If you think about a consumer basket, why would you have a consumer basket that, where people are not eating and people are not driving and not keeping warm in the, uh, in the wintertime? But the reason for that is those tend to be fairly volatile. They move up and they move down, and um, they don't tend to have the, the long-term trends in them. And uh, so what you want to do is make policy around the long-term trends of, uh, uh, of inflation. Where, is the, uh, where are things, uh, what are the forces that are driving something that is going to lead to uh, a, a constant increase in the price level rather than just, oh, uh, there was a problem in the energy market, energy prices went up, sure, measured inflation will go up, but that's just a one-time thing, and that might come back down again. Uh, so you really want to look at these, these underlying long-run factors. Um, obviously, energy is an important issue, but, um, but that's why you sometimes take these things out when you do your, your uh, policy assessments. And that's true not just in the U.S., but around sure. the world. Sure, but they have those things, f food and fuel, have a huge impact on the psychological For sure. understanding of inflation, right? Yeah, and that's why I always joke, it's, it's only a cold-hearted economist who could, you know, if, you know uh, who right. would take out food and energy. So keeping <laughs> yourself warm and, uh, and eating and think that's a consu consumption basket. But it's because if you look at like underlying trends, there's more information content. It's, it's easier to predict underlying trends if you take those volatile pieces out because they move up, they move down. And so you don't want to say, well, that's underlying inflation. That's more a sectoral thing. It's, as economists call it, it's a relative price shift rather than overall growth of the, constant growth of the price level.